hi guys uh, welcome back to my channel in today's video I'll be uh, showing you how to set up your VS code workspace uh, it also sometimes it's also called the uh, development environment for VS code so this is to do with Python so uh, the first thing you want to do is open your VS code so I already have um, Anaconda open and I'm going to be opening a VS code through it through Anaconda so right here is the, the icon for VS code so I'm going to open it and then the next thing I'm going to do is set up my theme so you can change the colors of your VS code environment there's two ways to go to the this the theme uh, the color themes you can on the bottom left here there's a uh, it's like a gear icon if you uh, uh you hover your mouse over it it's it's gonna uh, you're gonna see it's it's called manage so if you click on it you'll see here it says color color theme and here if you click on that you have the different colors that are available so right now i'm just using night blue you can change it to whatever whatever color you like and then another way to get to that option is to go to files and then go to your preferences and then go to color theme and then you can change it to whatever color you want you can try out the different colors so i'll change mine back to blue oh, another thing you want to check before you start writing any code uh, is you just want to make sure that the the interpreter is set up cor correctly and uh, one way to do this is to open your terminal and uh, to try and see if you can type like a quick test uh, code and to if we you come to like a window like mine here where there's no terminal to get to the terminal you can click on here and click new terminal and that should open it uh, if you don't like the position of it if you want it to be on the right side here you can right click here at the top of it like on next to the menu items and then you can move it to the right or to the left just like that so i'll move it back to the bottom and so once you're in your terminal and as you can see it's actually using a powershell here windows powershell to check your python interpreter just type py or you can type the full word python and press enter and it should pop up with the interpreter prompt or the python prompt and you should also list the version of python you can type a quick uh, you can test it with the let's say an addition here one plus two and press enter and as you can see we're getting a result which which tells us that the python interpreter is configured correctly here so that's how you, te you test your interpreter now we know that it's set up correctly now to set up the workspace um, you'll need to you can close the get started window here and then you want to go to the explorer and right now this it says there's no um no folder is open you can open a folder but the, uh, the, there's also a better way to do it which is to set up your workspace or your environment which is the recommended way which stores your all your files in one location and when you open your uh, your project if it's a project you're working working on you can open everything just by clicking your uh, your workspace opening your workspace so we'll save our workspace here we'll go to file and then save workspace as and then you want to open uh, whatever location you want to save it. So like I said, you can have this is in uh, OneDrive or you can have it on your computer somewhere. So I'm going to be saving my workspace uh, on a folder on my computer. And I'm going to just call it um, My Test Workspace 2. And then I'm just going to click Save. And as you can see, we have the name of the workspace. It's saved right here. The only thing we don't have is uh, we don't have any any folders. 
So that's, that's the next thing we'll need to do. But before we, we create any folders, we just want to set up the workspace. Okay, so we'll change some settings on the workspace. To do that, we'll go to File, go to Preferences, Settings, and then at the top right, there's a, an icon. It's like a kind of like a document. And you've, if you hover your mouse, it says Open Settings, uh, JSON. So click on it, and here it's going to uh, open the settings for the workspace. Now, the key, uh, one of the, the main settings you want to you wanna change in the new workspace is the, the, the you want to make sure that the path to your interpreter is correct. So this is, this right here is what you want to, you want to make sure you want to change that. So we'll highlight this. We'll select it. And then we'll copy this. Then you want to go to View, Command Palette. And here you want to click on this first option, Preferences, Open Workspace, JSON. And that opens the, um, the settings for the new workspace you just created. And as you can see here, there's no settings for it. And there's no folders because we haven't created any folders. And the settings, we haven't uh, made any uh, adjustments. Make sure you don't delete the curly braces and just put in that part. Okay, so that's what we're looking to change right now. To save the changes, go to File and then click Save. And the changes you just made to your uh, new workspace should be should take effect. Now you can just close this workspace and then you can close the uh, settings JSON. So the next thing we'll do is create a folder that will link to this workspace so this folder is where you you saw your code and it's also going to be linked to the workspace again that the folder can be stored anywhere it could be on your a de a device or it could be on uh, say one drive so i'm going to be creating mine here so i'll call a right click i say new and then a folder i'll call it test folder this folder too and now the folder the folder is created now uh, what i need to do next is associate that folder with the workspace this new workspace to do that you go to file add folder to workspace and then you go to that folder navigate to where you just put that folder and click on it and click add and then it's going to ask you if you, you trust the authors of the files in this folder. Just click yes. And now, as you can see, the folder has been placed below that new workspace, which is right here. OK, so right now we don't have any files associated with this workspace or this folder or inside this folder. And if you click on Open Editors here, there's nothing because you don't, any, you don't have any uh, Python files open. So we'll need to create a file inside this folder so the python files are just going to be a, a file that ends with .py and we'll create a file and edit within the editor here so right now we are in the um right now we are in the explorer we are within explorer in the vs code and underneath our newly created test folder we'll right click it and create a new file and we'll say test file one.py and now within open editors here um, the test file one is is now open there's a new tab that was uh, opened here and we have the file showing under that test folder too now we can now we can type in some test code here. So I'll do an import random, and then I'll assign some random number to a variable called num. So I'll just uh, do a random dot run int, and then a, let's say you want a random number between three forty five and say five 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 five. 
then we'll print that that random number so in order to, to run the file you, you want to make sure you save it fast so you can go to file save another way to make sure your file is saved um, automatically without you having to save it you can go to file and make sure that auto save is selected so just right uh, Click on it and it should have a check mark next to it. So every time you make any changes to a file, it auto saves it for you. So to run this file, once you have it saved, there is an icon at the top right that if you hover your mouse over it, it's going to say run Python file. Click on it and then in the terminal is going to open at the bottom here and then it's going to show you the results. So the reason for going through all these uh, steps is to allow you to save all the files that are associated with the given project in one workspace and have everything ready when you open just a workspace. Um, this is especially useful for somebody who's running maybe different uh, programming languages like uh, JavaScript and um, HTML. And if you want to separate all those files, you can use workspaces, different workspaces for different uh, projects or different um, programming languages. So I'll demonstrate what I'm talking about. I'll go ahead and close this workspace here. So I'll go to file at the bottom. Towards the bottom, it says close workspace. And now as you can see, the workspace is closed. So let's say this is the first time you're opening your v, uh, v, Visual Studio code or VS code. If you go to your Explorer, there's nothing there, but you know where you have your workspace saved, say you have it on a OneDrive. So all you have to do is go to File, open Workspace from a file, and then you'll need to navigate to um, whatever you have your, your workspace saved. Then when, once you get to the workspace, you open the workspace. Now once you have the workspace open, as you can see, it's also going to open the folders and the files. So that's all for this video. I hope this information has been useful. I'll see you all in my next video. Thank you. Bye.